Hey y'all, welcome to or welcome back to Dave's Techway, whichever way the situation may be. In today's video, we're going to go back to a topic that I put out a few weeks back. I put out a video was showing you how to overclock the Ryzen 5 2400G on the Gigabyte B450 DS, DH3S motherboard. And uh, someone seen the video made a comment and actually uh, corrected me on... Uh, how to be able to overclock on this motherboard. Stay tuned and I'll show you the proper way of overclocking. Alright y'all, like I said in the intro, um, a few weeks back I put out that how to overclock the Ryzen 5 2400G on that Gigabyte B450 motherboard. Someone seen that video and made a comment, which I asked for, you know, I said if anybody knew how to overclock on that motherboard, then let me know. Well, when uh, someone that actually watched the video, or watched at least part of the video, made a comment on that, it said, uh, the comment was from HD Videos World. He says, how foolish. Try numbers instead of clicking with the mouse on auto. I typed 40 and in place of auto and started running at four gigahertz on my R5-1600. Uh, first thing I want to do, I want to thank HD Videos World for this comment, because it made me go back and look and actually see what was going on. I've got a little video of it here of me doing exactly what he said to do, and it actually does work. Um, if you go into if you go in to the BIOS and you click on the auto, just like I'm showing here in this video, uh, I'll hold up the keyboard for you so I can show you what I'm typing on the keyboard. And then you hit enter, it actually changes it to 4 gigahertz on the CPU cores. Now this does work for the GFX clock frequency, or it shows that it works. Here in a second, I will show you that it does work for the GPU, but for some reason it does not work for the GFX or your integrated graphics. Now why this is, is really beyond me. Let me skip by some of this. You don't need to see the computer restarting. But, you know, um, like I said, it does work for the CPU cores, but as I'll show you here in a second, here's the CPU. It's showing 3.99 gigahertz, which is, I mean, it's, it's right at the 4 gigahertz uh, processing speed. Now, here's, uh, here I am opening up MSI Afterburner, which I, what's what I do my benchmarking with and whatnot, you know, shows your frequencies you're running at. And you can see right there, it's still running at 400 megahertz, which is what it shows out of the box. The Ryzen 5 2400G goes up to 1250 megahertz on the integrated graphics, but it turbos as it's needed. You know, you don't need 1250 megahertz to run just a desktop to watch videos. You know, 400 megahertz is plenty. And here's having benchmarked, and you'll see whenever this thing starts, it goes from 400 megahertz up to 1240 megahertz. Right there, it goes up to 1240 megahertz. Now, if I pull up MSI Afterburner, it's a little bit conflicting, because right there in the middle of the bubble, it shows 1240. You look right above that 1240, right up in this area here, right up here on this little clock going around right here, and it's showing 1250. But down here and up here both, it's showing 1240. And you see me in the buyer set this at 1550. I don't understand why it would, the motherboard is allowing the CPU cores to be overclocked, but not the GPU cores. I also tested this in different games, you know, Fortnite, uh, Apex Legends, uh, Witcher 3, and they're all showing the same results through MSI Afterburner. It ain't hitting what you set in the BIOS for the, for the graphics. But the CPU is working fine. The overclock for the CPU is working great and it's up to four four gigahertz and how i'm getting back into the bios to show you that it's still saying 1550 megahertz but you ain't getting the performance out of it 
So the guy that actually sent in that comment, I want to thank him for showing me the right way of uh, being able to do this on the motherboard. I can't figure out why the GPU ain't overclocking as what the BIOS is saying. That makes no sense to me. But since, uh, since the man did take the time to make the comment and show me the proper way of uh, overclocking this motherboard, at least overclocking the CPU side of things, you know, I, w I don't want false information out there. I want to put out the correct information on my YouTube channel. And like I said in the other video, you know, if you knew how to do this, let me know. If the guy spoke up, he let me know. So I'm passing the information on to the rest of you. Apparently there's no other overclocking gadget on this motherboard by what I'm understanding by the comments I'm reading. So I wanted to take and make this quick little video and show you you can actually overclock the CPU side of things but not the GPU. If you want to do the GPU, it seems like you're still going to have to use the AMD Ryzen Master software, which, you know, I get pretty good performance out of it. I can't complain with, uh, with the way it acts. And I can go ahead and change this settings, and it actually makes a difference in the gameplay. And also remember, guys, that your CPU cores and the GPU cores on this, if you're in integrated graphics anyways, is all running on the same chip. So if you max out your CPU on which you can overclock it to, you may not get as much overclocking room out of your GPU cores that's inside the CPU. So this is one thing to keep in mind. You know, of course, if you're looking at gaming, you know, the GPU overclock's gonna get you better frame rates than what overclocking your CPU does. Um, in this example, I did 4.0. That's the best I can get out of mine. It's stable. I can't get it up past the 4.0. Um, yours, like I said in the first one, yours may vary, you know, depending on your silicon lottery, how good the ports is inside of the chip. You may get better than this. Um, so, you know, all I can tell you is to give it a try and see what, see what you can get out of your chip. But anyways, that'll do it for this little video. This is just an update. Like I said in the first video, you know, if I found out any more information on this, I would update y'all. So this is just kind of an update to it and showing you how to go through the right procedures with doing this. You know, that's one thing I'm hoping this video proves, you know. I put out information that wasn't absolutely correct. I'm coming back and fixing that. You know, I don't want, I don't want to be blame for misleading anybody on the internet for you know well this ain't correct you didn't do this right you didn't do that right you know if there's something in my videos any of my videos that you guys see that you think i could do better or it's misleading or that ain't right i'll i will research it and if i find out that you're correct i will give you a thank you i will put your comment up just like i did his and i will re revisit it if you are correct I have no problem with saying that I was wrong I'm not I you know I'm human I make mistakes that's something I should have tried before I put out the last video and I didn't this guy corrected me so I'm putting out this video to correct myself because y'all that watch these videos is here to learn something you know and a lot of times you get a lot of people that already know this stuff that watches these videos and they help me just as much as I'm trying to help you guys. But anyways, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give me a thumbs down. If you really liked the video, you can hit that subscribe button down there and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified next time I put out a video. That way you don't miss a video from me. Until next time, you all have a good day. And I'll see you in the next video.